Hello, my lovely weird ass witches. It is I, Maggie, and I'm so happy to be making this video for you today because I finally began to work more on the Worship Your Radical Divinity process for you guys. One of the biggest things that I've learned recently that helps me more than absolutely anything in my spiritual practice, in my daily life, just an all around kind of happy pill for myself has been journaling. It has taken me such a long time to get into the practice of journaling and I think it's because I never truly understood how to do it properly. Not to say that there's not a right or wrong way to journal. There are certain ways of journaling that can be more beneficial to your life. And so in Weird Ass Witches, we're going to work a little bit on weird journaling where we take the time to journal and this gives us a moment in space and time to worship our own divinity. Through my own journey, I began to notice a pattern whenever I would take the time to journal, especially after doing ritual or something to that effect. One time in particular comes to mind. I had done a ritual that was kind of about shadow work. Once I was done, you know, I felt good about everything and I sat down and I started to just look at my phone for a second. You know, like you do, you pick up your phone and then you, you know, three hours later, you're still watching like YouTube videos on Facebook. But I was scrolling through my phone for maybe about five minutes. Then I remembered, I was like, shit, I need to write down uh, what just happened in my ritual so that I can remember it for later. At that moment, when I started to write down about my ritual, that is when journaling kind of clicked for me. I found that the experience journaling after my ritual was almost more profound than the ritual itself because it gave me time to process the information that I received during the ritual. It gave me time to reflect on the things that I had learned from the ritual itself. And when I realized that's what was happening with my journaling, I was just kind of like, shit, that's what this is all about. And so I got really excited and wanted to share it with you guys. It is something that we could use in our day-to-day -day lives as well. Journaling allows us to gain perspective on situations that are happening to us. Kind of like those times when we get really pissed off and we don't have anybody to rant to and it just keeps boiling inside of our minds or we get sad about something and we don't have anybody to talk to. It just lasts for so long until you know you talk to somebody. And then by the time you tell your friend about what's going on, like the entire situation sounds kind of dumb to yourself. Or once you've said it, you're like, gosh, it's really, it doesn't seem so bad now just because I've said it. Whenever we take time to spell out exactly what is happening to us, it gives us the perspective we need to kind of optimize the situation. We then have the problem there before us and we're able to take a step back and clearly see what's happening so we can start problem solving the situation. And that's another thing that it offers is a release of that emotion. You know, a lot of times once I journal something, I hardly think about it afterwards unless I decide to purposely go back and read my journals because I've poured my emotions out. They've come out through my mind, through my heart space, and into my hand, onto the paper. Because I've manifested this emotion onto paper, I'm no longer holding onto it inside of myself. Journaling, sacred journaling, can give us the release that we need from certain emotions that we may be holding onto really tightly. Sorry, my fucking dog. Best thing about all of this is the way that it ties in with worshiping your radical divinity, which I've began to learn is so much about self-love and self-care and taking time to make space for yourself in your life. And that's exactly what the act of journaling does. If you take time, just five or 10 minutes at some point during the day to write down how you feel, you're holding a sacred space at that time that is just for you. And that is so perfect and it's so important to your self-love and to your weird experience, your, your self-care that you're practicing. And by holding this sacred space for yourself, you are creating that bridge inside of you that brings you closer to your own divinity and to spirit itself. This is something that is so important to me. I wanted to share this really special information with you so that you will know that it's something that you can make a part of your life that's really simple, doesn't cost fucking anything, and 
it can be so incredibly beneficial to your self-love routine, to your weird ass witch practice, and to creating a stillness in your daily life. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I really hope you've been keeping up with work that I've been doing on the website, witchandmoon.com. I've been putting up some blog posts and stuff, so make sure that you don't miss out on that. And I'm in the process of working on um, a newsletter too for you guys. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Stay weird. <laughs>